Hey everyone. So, while on the way to the campground near Pictured Rocks, I forgot to film video at the Uper Tourist Trap. On another note though, I did take several photos. So in today's video, I am going to be doing more of a historical and educational video discussing some of the objects that are there at the tourist trap and why this tourist trap is one worth stopping. I mean, after all, it's free. So what? how do you beat that? So let's dive in and look at some of these amazing Uper treasures. So the first treasure I want to look at is a car called Christine. It's a 1957 Buick Special which has a 350 engine and it's actually mounted on a shortened 1974 three quarter ton Chevy 4x4 pickup frame. Say that three times fast. Well, this car was originally built by Tom Weaver, who used it every winter to plow out his business, the Handshake Hotel. And today, it is not just for show. It is actually used to plow the Uper Tourist Trap every winter. And in true Uper fashion, we have Big Ernie, the world's largest working rifle. That's right, Big Ernie actually works. The projectile is loaded into the muzzle and it can then be fired by a 12 volt electrical igniter system that runs off of propane and oxygen. Now that's pretty uber. I mean beer and hunting that is a big part of the culture up here. And a fun fact is the same people who built Big Ernie actually built Big Gus. Now, Big, Bu Big Gus holds the world record for being the largest working chainsaw in the world. It has a GMC V8 engine, a 3 speed transmission, and a 12 volt electric starter. I'm pretty sure that beats some of the vehicles up here in the UP. Now, the chain is made of 6 inch pitch steel and the overall chainsaw weighs almost 3,500 pounds. When the Uper tourist trap first started it up, the mayor of the South Republic actually said he could feel it clear as day over at his house approximately 20 miles away. Another unique piece was the Doc Swanson famous tooth drill. So Doc Swanson was the neighborhood dentist and after just having some root canals done, seeing his famous tooth drill made me shiver and sent shivers down my spine. The Doc used this big drill on anyone who had cavities. If he was tired, he would drill slowly as you sat there in pain. If he had a few shots of vodka, he would drill fast, making it so anytime someone had to visit, they often hoped that he was drunk so he would drill like a maniac and simply get it over with. Now let's talk about THE original leg lamp. That's right. Many people have seen the leg lamp from the famous movie, The Christmas Story. And there's several stories about what inspired this. But us Youpers believe that the original inspiration came from none other than the UP. The lamp you are looking at was built by Joe Bartyushak for his cousin Arnie Gosky as a Christmas gift in 1950. A leg lamp would never be mentioned elsewhere until 1966. So you heard it here for first folks, we were the first to do it. Now I apologize for my swearing here folks, but I'm gonna end up saying the S word here. That's right. I'm talking about the Marquette County Snowfall Record. 
During the winter of 1996 to 1997, Marquette County set a new snowfall record, reaching nearly 22 and a half feet of snow. This pole measures that height. Now with that in mind, can you see why I'm not a fan of winter or snow? Now furthermore, there was a lot of good laughs here at the Uber Tourist Trap. So I want to start off by mentioning Lucky Dog Productions moderator, who during a live stream two days ago mentioned that they were an unofficial Uber. Now I must point you specifically to this sign. Like it says, relax, enjoy, spend all your cash, but please don't move up here. Like I had mentioned during the live stream, us youpers are super nice, but we like our ruralness. Now, as Land Cloud Adventures mentioned during that live stream, our culture here is pretty unique. And one way this can be shown is by the Uper doorbell. Again, we are kind up here, but we like our ruralness. Basically, a Uper is a people person, but at the same time, we are not a people person. Another one is that while out hiking, we need protection from cougars and bears. Yes. You heard that right. It is officially confirmed after countless years of denial from many, we have cougars up here. Well, for the best protection, look no further than the Uper Double Barrel Slingshot. This is bound to stop any bear or cougar dead in their tracks. And then finally, we have this special treasure, which I think speaks for itself. On another note though, they did have a legit dinosaur bone that was discovered in the bog out back. So how cool is that? This was a spot again that was absolutely free and I think quite frankly it is one of the most unique spots roadside attractions that I have not seen only in the UP but through my travels across the country. So if you ever find yourself in the area I highly recommend stopping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be posting a lot more about my trip on Pictured Rock so if you haven't already make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest adventures. Until then, take care. I'll see you all on the next adventure. And remember, life is short. Get out and explore, and don't waste it in your comfort zone.